All right, so we're going to do our best to review a movie that we watched a while ago. Uh, we just watched a bunch, and then we were like, oh shit, we never reviewed this movie. Uh, so we reviewed all those, and now we're going to make our really shitty attempt <laughs> at trying to remember a movie that we watched, like, uh, I don't know, like a month ago. So, no, this is like three weeks ago, I think. It's almost a month. Yeah. 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 It's pretty close. <laughs> so, let me read the IMDB description. <laughs> In a North Dublin housing estate, Shar's mother goes missing. When she returns, Shar is determined to uncover the truth of her disappearance and unearth the dark secrets of her family. Yes. I remember um, the general synopsis. Oh, sure. sure. I, I remember the movie pretty well. Um, <laughs> I do. I You know, this movie has... What this movie relies on primarily is that kind of dreary atmosphere. Mm, the film is atmosphere. is like drained of color. Yes. Right? Like it, it it's it's got that it's got that like super dreary feeling to it yes. throughout. Um which, I love. which yeah, which works to the film's benefit. Um the the film relies completely on its atmosphere and its tense build up. Mm -hmm. Um the film doesn't have a giant climax from that buildup, though, um, which isn't a super negative. I just think that there needed to be a little bit more there there in the end. Mm. But overall, I did like the feeling of the film throughout. The performances, for sure, yeah. are probably the highlight of the movie. And the... The emotions in which are elicited from you while watching this because of bullying, because mm -hmm. of, you know, loss in the family, because of uh, disconnection illness. from mm -hmm. a loved one, because of you know, mental illness. And, and, and that's what this film plays with. It kind of reminds me um, aesthetically and tonally to something like The Babadook. Yes. Yeah, I would agree with you with mm. that. I without giving you know too many spoilers, the thing that I how about no spoilers? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, okay, I really like the um, it's not the concept, but like the folklore. Okay. That is that, not a spoiler. That really? yeah. So the folklore that is played within the film, I'm super into. I yeah. always want more of that um, because I think it just fits super well with horror and it's very underused in my opinion. Well, and it's set in Ireland too, right? And, it, and there's a lot of really great folklore yes. that comes out of those areas. Yeah. And it's scary. It's really scary. There's a couple scenes in this movie that I remember being like, what the fuck is it? Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, but the tone and everything, definitely like the Babadook. And it's, of course, it's it's scary to be living in a house with someone who you're questioning whether oh or not. God. I mean, the title is, I mean, oh that's, that's the spoiler <laughs> onto itself, right? It's like, she doesn't think it's her mother who's returned. Once her mother goes missing, she returns. And it's like, you are not my mother. It's terrifying. Right? That's like anything, this movie isn't necessarily about that, but like things that deal with like doppelgangers or, you know, anything like yeah. in that uh, realm is just terrifying to me. Sure. Because what well, Because the there's, there's so much trust <laughs> yes. in the image of them. Yes. Well, and especially in a, like a child and a mother, right? Like you're supposed to trust your parents or, you know. Yeah. So whenever yeah. that trust is broken. It's a parental obviously. figure. Mm -hmm. That... Yeah, it has your explicit trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I think that the me mental illness theme for me was what came through the most with this movie, which I really like the the take on it, kind of the dark romanticism of it. Because um, it is, like, you know, a very real thing that people experience if they have a loved one that has mental illness and, like, not being able to recognize them anymore because they're acting differently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, it's, it's really tough to go through, and I think that this film portrays the feeling, even if it's, you know, a fantasy version of it, that feeling is definitely one that people who've experienced mental illness from another uh, can relate to. My biggest gripe with the movie is really more of a bias, and that comes in the way of certain characters 
not getting their comeuppance no. that fucking should. Yeah. <laughs> where you're kind of waiting throughout the film, like, these characters are typically set up in movies like this to give you that, you know... Um, the, like, visceral satisfaction yeah, when they get like, justice. I, I, yeah, I want to yeah. I want to have that, like... Um, the word I'm missing right now? The, like, vengeance. <laughs> no. Retribution? No. Mm. Or... It, it doesn't matter. I, I use it here on the channel all the fucking time. I don't know why it's slipping my mind right now. Hmm. But regardless, um, yeah, you're, you're just, you're just not getting that, that feeling of, um, I, I, I can't move I, on I without know. the word. <laughs> like the, when you're living vicarious. Vicarious. <laughs> vicarious. I, it was like, it starts with a V. It starts with a V. Yeah. It, <laughs> you want that, that vicarious, but there's actually another word I was trying to think of too, oh. but it doesn't matter. Oh. But yeah, you want these terrible people to have terrible things done to them. And you're waiting throughout the fucking movie for that to happen. Okay. And it, and it just doesn't. And it's very dissatisfying. Right. Yes. <laughs> it's yes. it's yeah. very, it's like, Oh, come on, come on. Give me that. So I think, I think honestly that might be what led to me being like the climax isn't enough. That's what I was thinking you were meaning because I feel like <laughs> for me I thought the ending did have a really nice climax and built like the build up and then the release was really good. Yeah. But that part we of it sex right now? Yeah, the, the orgasm was thumbs up. Yeah. Uh but I know what you mean about the, the characters not getting their come up and Yeah. So I, yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, as I said, that's kind of a bias, biases there. Cause mm -hmm. like I have a huge problem with bullying and I have a huge, and you're just like, as I said, in movies like this, cathartic, cathartic. Oh. there's the word I was trying to come up yeah. with. I was that's looking for my catharsis in yes. here. Right. And, and. Because I had some bullying issues when I was a kid, I truly can't handle it. Like, if, if she's ever watching a movie with me and bullies are on the screen, I, like, pace. Like, I get up <laughs> and I start punching things and, like, I can't handle it. Like, yeah. if I see bullying taking place in front of me, I'm going to be the first person to step in 100% guaranteed. And I just want to bash their fucking heads in. Mm -hmm. Right? I want to bully the bullies. So, you're just waiting for that and it just it doesn't come in it's very no. dis, it's just very uh you know disheartening like i want it yeah. um, so that's a, that's a little biasy but overall great atmosphere great acting um lots of cool good atmosphere creepy dreary uh solid film that yeah. absolutely should uh, be on your watch list yes so uh check it out um I think it's uh, rentable and even has show times when I looked it up. Like it's in theaters somewhere. I don't. I don't mm. know. But uh, let us know if you watch it. It's a good one. It's a good one for yeah. sure. Yeah. And I finally remembered a couple words. Yay for me. Good job. C for me. See. That's that's, that's a different joke. <laughs> that was a different review for a different joke. Anyways. <laughs> bye. bye.